All right, Speak Your Sports, what is up? I'm Sparsh and I'm joined by Dorji. And today we're going to be talking about something different that's been going on in the NBA revolving around the Sacramento Kings. And this issue is most uh, concerned around Marvin Bagley. And if you guys have been sort of keeping up with sort of the Kings um, situation, basically what's been happening is that the Kings have indicated to Marvin Bagley that he's not going to be in the main rotation. And this is also this was honestly kind of shocking to me, especially considering that this is a team that drafted him over Luca at number two. And already, you know, at this point in his career, he is not going to be in the main rotation for the Kings at this point. So what are your thoughts about this, Dorji? I have a lot of takeaways for this point. Um, first of all, um, as you mentioned, they drafted um, Bagley over <laughs> one of the best young stars we've ever had in the league, Luka Doncic. And I guess at first, I... I can see why they drafted Bagley. Like he fit their system. They already had De'Aaron Fox, who, who's still really good right now. But as you can clearly see, you know, it really backfired on them. I mean, in his rookie season, he made the first team all rookie, which was um that was a good start. But his injuries kept on piling up and piling up, and eventually just fell off. And what made it even more interesting is that um the Kings did not offer him uh, extending offer. That like most rookies get after their third year so that indicates that he'll be a free agent and honestly i think they'll probably trade him eventually before the deadline or probably during it so um yeah it's just a really weird situation for bagley like he just like he's not a bad player like he's a good rebounder he could spread the floor at times it's good shot blocker just his health is, is not the best and like the Kings just don't really have any use for him anymore as they have the emergence of Rashawn Holmes, who's been really good in the past few years. So there's not a lot of space for Bagley to really, you know, fit in the rotation. But I didn't know that they, like they wouldn't play him at all, which is really weird as he's still relatively young. So, yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, <laughs> I think it's just been so weird how he's not uh, being there. And, We've seen some sort of history of like this Kings uh, and Bagley drama. I think his dad was yeah. also saying that he should probably be out. But I mean, even this past June, I'm also just reading this off of sportingnews.com, but Bagley liked a tweet suggesting that he should be out of Sacramento. And yeah, and this was the tweet his father said in January 2021. Please trade Marvin Bagley ASAP before deleting it once it made waves. Um, Marvin Bagley as uh, a starter so this is uh, in his 119 games he's averaged 14.4 points 7.5 rebounds in 25.4 minutes i mean yeah it's you know he could be better as a second pick but i mean that you can definitely improve on that it's not like he's yeah. been an absolute scrub it's just the injuries have been plaguing him a lot and last season was his most promising as 42 of his 52 career starts were recorded as part of the 43 games he played yeah. during that season right so i mean at this point i think that the kings should probably just get him out because this is not going to be getting any better uh we'll see if the kings can get anything yeah. promising in return but this situation it doesn't really look like marvin bagley is going to benefit staying in sacramento anymore honestly i don't think the kings will get really like get much back for him because i remember at the trade deadline that just passed in march um, they offered Bagley for Sadiq Bay of the Detroit Pistons, and the Pistons rejected. So if he came and trade Bagley for a rookie who's been doing pretty good or pretty all right, then his value must be tanked. So I'm assuming like just a few picks, like second round picks, honestly, or a role player, which is really sad because Bagley definitely had potential to be like a you know a great big man in the league. But realistically, realistically speaking, I don't think he'll be that special. Um, moving forward, unless he doesn't get injured too much, and also I don't really see like what kind of team would trade for him. I mean, I was like, like last year when the Raptors basically had no center, I was vouching for them to trade for Bagley. But then I think before the deadline, like I think he got injured again, like he injured his his leg. So his injury history is very scary. So honestly, he probably would fit some like non contender. That'd be my best bet. I yeah. don't think I don't think a championship team would probably trade for him. No. Is really really like low package yeah i i really don't think it's gonna be you're gonna be getting much uh, out of this 
anyways yeah so that's all that we really have on this uh marvin bagley situation right i mean if this guy does happen to get on a contender he can definitely be a good contributing piece yeah sure. which is sort of why we wanted to cover this but you know for now it looks like he's just going to be out of the main rotation for a while until until they might find a trade for him but they're, they're not i don't think they're going to be getting much uh in return especially considering you know the recent news and the other trades that they've already offered out there right yeah so yeah that concludes this video if you guys have gotten this far please make sure to like comment and subscribe to our channel and make sure to press the bell for push notifications that way you're always up to date with our content and it makes us more eager to post videos for you guys as well we're going to be posting lots of videos throughout this nba season so please make sure to subscribe so you're always up to date with our content this is sparsh this has been georgie thanks for watching take it easy guys